Hey everyone, JD here. Uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, actually flying and control of the quadcopter uh, in this uh, set of tutorials. Uh, so to begin with, uh, the quadcopter I'm using here is the JD509. Uh, this quadcopter is relatively cheap, it's about £85 to buy. Um, you do get some fantastic features for that money, uh, like you do have uh, a screen where you can, if your camera does work, and like mine, because I use this, this copter for uh, testing and for a load of other things, the camera on this particular model doesn't work, and that's purely down to myself. It's not down to uh, the company or the, or the, um, or the quadcopter itself. Uh, then you can record video directly onto the camera, uh, and then you via the little SD card here, and then you can obviously play it back. Uh, as in my last video, I would say um, don't, you know, please try and not to record anybody. Uh, obviously, there are occasions where you can't help it, um, but in which case, uh, just obviously get their consent. Um, or just, you know, obviously uh, try not to record anybody to begin with. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to take you up to an altitude. Uh, this particular quadcopter will hold its own altitude, so therefore when it's up there, I can then explain to you about each of these controls and what they do. All right, so let's turn everything on and then we'll take her up to an altitude. There we go. Up we go. Right then. Okay, so I'm going to keep a little way back from this copter because I'm aware that it is quite loud. Um, not overly, but obviously when I'm trying to, when you're trying to hear somebody speak, it's not a great idea to be listening to uh, a load of rotors in the background. So if I take her up to a height, I think that's quite nice there. Then what you'll have, you've always got these two, um, these left and right controls here. Normally, the uh, the left one uh, is purely for altitude. So if you were to push up, the, uh, the quadcopter would in increase its altitude. If you were to pull down, the quadcopter would lower its altitude. Likewise, you've got left and right directional turns as well. So you can turn the quadcopter left and right, and then it'll respond accordingly. So if I just bring her in a little bit closer there for you to see. A little bit of a close-up of her turning around. There we go. Left and right motion here you can see. Just pointing the quadcopter into the correct direction. Which you will then follow up with the right stick. To then move her around. So normally with quadcopters that don't have altitude hold. Uh, you would have to keep your thumb on the left stick and keep on feathering her up a little bit just to counteract any slight breeze or anything there might be. Uh, I don't recommend you fly any quadcopters in any sort of wind. As you can see here today by looking at the trees, there is absolutely nothing, which is why I'm taking advantage uh, of this and showing you um, exactly how to fly them when there isn't anything uh, that, can, uh, that can put her off her course. So, just to turn her around a bit there, just so you can see the, mo the motion. So using the left stick to actually turn the quadcopter to a direction and then using the right one then to follow up and push a little bit forward um, to actually take you to where you want to be. Now I think the confusing part for a lot of people, including myself when I first started, was that no matter which way your quadcopter is flying, up or towards the screen is always going to take you forward. So even when you turn it round and you have the quadcopter facing yourself there, forward is up is always forward so you can get quadcopters with headless mode and what that means is when you are flying it doesn't matter which way you're turning if you were to pull backwards and you are facing yourself she will come towards you rather than in this instance fly away as you can see there so let's just turn around and bring it back to me a little bit there you go perfect so when you have got your quadcopter at an altitude that you want it. <laughs> so when you have got your quadcopter at an altitude that you want it, you can normally just keep your eye on the altitude and just feather this control a little bit just to keep her up. Um, there is, there you are, every now and again she'll hit a pocket and she will drop down. This is to be expected. Uh, so obviously keep your quadcopter in range of yourself and keep your quadcopter um, away from anything that it can harm like trees, people, animals, anything like that. 
Um, so there we go. So in this instance, I'm not recording anything on this particular quadcopter. So it's just purely all you're seeing is the camera feed from my from my goggles. So if I'm to turn this round again, so as you can see, they're very. Once you get used to the controls, it's the same as anything really. Once you get used to the controls, they are extremely easy to uh, actually fly around and enjoy. Uh, then you can start not taking your thumb off um, any of the controls and just flying her around. Okay, so let's just stop her there. There we are. So it's very important with this quadcopter and with a lot of other ones as well, when you do bring her down into a uh, controlled descent, it is very important to hold down the controller and to turn off the motors otherwise you'll burn through the motors you're going to then have to uh, have to replace them so that motion is once you brought her down so just to hold on to the down motion there until she's hit the floor then push the two um, controllers away from each other and then the motors will automatically stop on this um, on this quadcopter okay so i'll put a link into this video to show you all the other tutorial videos uh, to do with this quadcopter including what each of these buttons means as well well there we are guys i hope this is uh, this has been uh, informative and i hope this uh, will help you decide whether or not you want to buy a quadcopter and start this fantastic hobby all right then guys well thank you very much for watching i hope to see you all again uh, so until next week take care happy flying